Dude! We're here to report in! Great! How goes the battle? Our demon supporters are showing more strength than expected, and the classes are joining forces to fight in each area, dude! But they won't be able to fight like that for much longer! Oh, the longer the battle goes, the more disadvantage we have, dude! We don't have time to waste then! Let's hurry! There's no need. This is as far as you will go. Ugh, another one? What now? They are the seven Yakshas of the Netherworld! They possess the power to return the world to nothingness in just seven days! There are seven this time? The groups are getting bigger and bigger! All right, we're not going to introduce each one of their members anymore, agreed? Do you guys see that familiar face among them two? Don't you dare confuse me with them! I'm one of the seven Yakshas! I am definitely not a Prinny! If I look like a Prinny to you, that means you still need more training! Oh, is that right? Well, then I apologize. What is it that you want? How much? Pardon me? The entire netherworld has descended into chaos because of your trifling rebellion. The president doesn't wish for this situation to continue any longer. So you're trying to buy us out? D do you really think you can bribe me just like that? Is money not enough? We can also offer the title of the Four Devas or the Three Brutes if you desire status. That is absurd! I'm not interested in a position within a rotten organization! Absurd? You are hardly one to talk. Learn your place, Prinny Instructor. Rotten organization? You have no idea how much the President is concerned about the Netherworld. Father? He's concerned? Father? Who do you think you are? Sir Amizel has already passed away. No, I didn't. I'm still alive. I'm still here. Then why must you interfere with the president? Why must you bring catastrophe to the netherworld? Interfere? Th that's not what I was... Dead or alive, you should have stayed in Hades. What is it that you're trying to accomplish by joining the Rebels? Have you given in to their threats? Or are you trying to get revenge against the President for abandoning you? No, no, that, that's not... I, I just wanted to... Hey, you! I don't know who you are with that fancy title above your head, and I don't care, but don't you dare speak like that to a kid! What's so wrong about a kid just wanting to see his dad? He's worked really hard up until now to make his dad proud. Is that so wrong? He had to become a rebel because you corruptorment bastards officially made him dead with that fake news. Puka. Nicely said, lass. First you try to bribe us, then you put your cowardice on a pedestal while chastising a child. Why is it so hard to believe that rebels like us would stand up to fight against you rotten souls? No matter how concerned the president is, the fact of the matter is the universe is malfunctioning. There's no excuse for that. A corruptment that can't fulfill its responsibilities or keep its promises to the citizens must be overthrown immediately. So, you still insist on rebelling. And all of you are with him, I assume. I'm only here to collect the money you owe. I have no intention of being bargained with or selling my soul. Dasko only wants to become a final boss. She's not interested in cheap titles like the Three Fruits or Four Devas. All is for my lord. And that concludes our negotiations. You have no choice but to die!
Oh my god, now we're being attacked by the seven Yaksha Akatsuki Espada Shichibukai Jupongatana Supernovas. Yeah. Uh, I really like how they took the uh, evil organization thing. Organization 13 thing uh, to excess in this game. Is there nothing they won't make fun of? Uh, so we got another double header, and seeing as how this chapter is all about the masked hero, I shall... Now a lot of explosions in this. Not a tricky level. I shall do the masked hero. Um, like rogues, masked heroes are a mobile class that help you dominate the map. You can get the geoblock sooner, reach distant enemies to throw them towards your party, or race through the iron world at maximum speed. In fact, a hero with a good trio of boots and a chicken heart ability can do an amazing job of getting you out of most trouble. Mass heroes have excellent speed, so they are a late game defensive class. Early on, their lower health and mediocre fighting abilities limit them. When fighting an equipment when fighting an equipment begins to favor speed. What? Goddamn typos. The masked heroes come into their own and start being a good defensive choice. Okay. When fighting, an equipment begins to favor speed. Sure. On the whole, don't waste any time or mana on power survival or superiority. Uh, that's the name of two of their abilities. Uh, you don't need a specialist for taking out the trash. I, I guess I have to elaborate. Anyway, uh, to unlock this class, you need a Thief and a Warrior level 25. Uh, they have Fortes and Fists and Guns. And let's see, their main ability, Speedy Move, increases speed by 5% per tile moved during each turn. Uh, that's nice. Since if, if they max, if they focused in, in Fists and Guns, that will actually increase the damage they do with those weapons as well as you know help their evasion so uh this is one of those this is an item wor world class primarily if you don't use a mothman you're gonna use a masked hero and here's why uh let's go over their other abilities first uh number two is power survival which deals 50 percent more damage against lower level enemies <laughs> yeah uh, this would only be useful on a level quad 9 character, and you're fighting enemies that aren't level quad 9. Uh, actually, Pringer X could be a... You know, so th this has some use, but not on the masked hero itself. You'd have to give it to another character. Uh, superiority, take 50% less damage when fighting lower level enemies. Uh... Mm. You know, maybe on a maybe on a class like Fuka, if you've been leveling her up a lot, that already has abilities that that lower damage, maybe, but not useful on this class itself. And then finally, Chicken Heart decreases stats by thirty percent, but increases movement by three. Oh yeah, baby, that's free movement. That's why you want to be an item world runner. It's na his natural movement is six. With this ability, it's nine. Going to the character world, character world twice increases movement, and you have a base movement of 11 without equipping a single shoe. Equip three pairs of shoes without going into the item world in any of them, and your movement will be 14. Incre <laughs> oh, and did I mention that this class counts as a flying type, and you can just walk through uh, enemy units? Yeah. Equip... Accelerators increase your movement by two each. Equip three of those, and your movement is now 17. Barefoot X increases it by three. Increase the three of those, and your movement speed is now 20. And you can increase each of the Barefoot X movement by six each. So there's nowhere you can't go at that point. Very handy to have, wouldn't you say? Uh, neutral to fire, 75% resistant to wind, and neutral to ice. Um, you would want to teach him fist moves as opposed to guns, simply because if in the item world, you would use this class to run all the way to the enemy gate 
If there's a gatekeeper, knock him off with triple strike or exploding fists, and then have either a second masked hero or a Mothman run to the gate. It's it's foolproof, pretty much. Um, unless the unless the gatekeeper is on a separate island that you need to throw to get to, which I can't even remember that being the case. That used to be the case all the time in the first game, but uh, they kind of limit, limited those kind of shenanigans. So th this is not a class you want to do damage with. Although, let's actually look at the aptitude before we make that assumption. Masked Hero, the, the primary class. Uh, HP aptitude is 70. SP aptitude 110. Attack 90. Defense 70. Intelligence 70. Resistance 120. Hit 90. And speed 130. So yeah, they're all about the speed. Um, then we have the Visored Hero. I guess that's a reference to Bleach, but I it, it, they spell it V I Z A R D. I really think they mean it more like vi you know, like a visor is like a cap that goes over your eyes, and that's referring to that. So, you know, maybe that's a mistranslation. Then we have Morphing Hero, Fixed Up Hero, Galaxy Hero, and then Superhero. How appropriate. Um, the superhero has a 95 base HP aptitude, 135 SP, 100 attack, 80 defense, 80 intelligence, 145 resistance, 100 hit, and 155 speed. Cool. Um, so yeah, like I said, they're, they're just speed demons and they can walk all over you and everybody, in fact. I don't think there's anywhere on the map they can't go to with that isn't connected. Um, I'm not using one at the moment, although I could very easily see the the utility. You know, I'm, I'm just using a Mothman at the moment because uh, rather than uh, I my Space Knight at the moment is so strong, uh, there's no gatekeeper she can't kill with the right ability. So um, I just nuke from afar with magic and then I just send my Mothman who more often than not coincidentally even after going to the character world the gate almost always seems to be one space away from his maximum movement the game must program that like automatically it really it really gets a bit irritating and it makes me suspicious um so yeah that that's the mask hero kind of goofy I, I guess they're Taking the place of the Prism Prism Rangers by this point. Uh, and since I'm doing a second class, you know, I'll, I'll wait to do the second class when we start the next level. In the meantime, I'm going to count to see how many I have left. Let's see, I have not done... Well, I haven't done any of the hidden characters, but... Kind of saving that. Let's see, I've done... Okay, yes. I have not done the Archer. The Armor Knight. The, the Lady Samurai. The Bouncer. The, the Battle Suit. The Android. The Shroom. <laughs> the... the did you? That is a weird ass move. Uh, the demon beast, which is the gargoyle. Did you? Mystic beast. Did I do the mystic beast? The dog? Someone's gonna have to remind me. I think I did. Uh, I had not done the dragon zombie. I have not done the dragon. I've not done the Nekomata or the Rifle Demon. Oh, that's quite a bit. That's like, what, 14 classes or so I haven't done? Yeah. We might just barely make it, people. Does anybody else chew ice when you're drinking something? I mean, I know it's not good for your teeth, but I've had a bad habit of doing that. 
people don't say stop chewing ice is bad for your teeth. They say stop chewing ice and annoys the crap out of me. Sorry. <sighs> We're done with this one yet? <laughs> uh, I, I, aesthetically, I think the mass heroes are kind of nerdy. I, I wouldn't pick. I would not make one for their looks. Really lowering your speed. Woo! Get her done. Got her done. See you after the credits. Ooh, they weren't half bad, considering their extreme sounding titles. I love my dream. I can sense a happy ending is just around the corner. This is strange. The members of the Seven Yakshas couldn't possibly be that weak. The three brutes, four devas, and seven Yakshas. There must be something behind all this. Maybe that's why they tried to buy us out. Was that another of Father's orders? But they said Father's concerned about the Netherworld. All of this will be made clear when you get to ask him in person. There's no point in raising those questions now. You're right! I'm not running away anymore. That's the spirit, Rascal. Um, Big Sis, do you wish to see your daddy too? What now? I don't want to see him at all. Who cares about some stupid dad who doesn't even come home for his daughter's birthday? He left me all alone every day just so he could focus on his research. Seriously, damn you, old man. Well, on to the Netherworld President's office. Let's go, Desco. Uh, okay, Big Sis. Yeah, that takes care of that. Alrighty. Just as per usual, do a little quick heal and save. Always gotta be careful before you go into a level you've never been before. You never know! Ah, yes, the Overlord's Test. Ah, this one is problematic. I almost didn't beat this one. Got ally damage 20% and disperse damage. Uh, the thing is, I underestimate the power of the archers, which is the class I'm going to be reviewing. Um, and I'll tell you why. First of all, this ally damage is bad, and disperse damage is bad because the more characters I have, when one character takes damage, the others receive a fraction of that damage as well. Also, I just... I, I need, like, four characters to throw to get over there to fight them. And also, those sorcerers are lowering my stats by 15%. I don't like that. I should really take them out first. But, um, I'm trying to get the geo block over there. To get rid of that ally damage. Very important. Of course, now there's a height differential that I fit. Ooh, slow down. That, um. Don't tell me you didn't see that slow down. Oh, uh, yeah, this becomes a bit problematic. Anyway, uh, time to go over the archer. Uh. A surprisingly good class. It's, it, it's underestimated, if you ask me. It, the, the archer. Archers are a medium damage sniping unit. They have a hard time bringing down the biggest game, but they're rarely without a use. Because of their impressive range and ability to shoot at strange angles, it's almost always possible for archers to get an attack in, even if more powerful characters are stimmy because of obstacles, range, and so forth. Or is it stymied? I think it's stymied. Gunners, the male counterpart to archers, need a clear line of attack to hit their targets. Gunners take more of the boss killing and team attack route. Archers are more independent and clear pesky targets or hunt spe uh, specific prey, depending on their ability of choice. Uh, don't use an archer for spear work unless you have a very good reason. Valkyries are much deadlier when wielding a spear. Archers should almost always use a bow. 
Um, yeah, they have a forte in spear and bow. Guess which one I recommend you equip them with. Are you kidding? I didn't kill those two? Jesus. Alright, um... To get an archer, you need to raise a healer and a Valkyrie to level 15. So that's why I've been using Windus this whole time. Simply to unlock the, unlock the archer class. Of course, remember, you need a level 15 healer and Valkyrie at the same time. So I have to reincarnate my Witch Doctor into a healer in order to unlock that class. Alright. So archers have a movement of 5, which is great, on top of their... On top of their good range with the bow. They're 25% resistant to fire and wind and neutral to ice, so they have good resistances as well. Their base ability, Excel Shot, and this is what makes them dangerous, increases attack power by 5% per tile of range between the archer and the target. So a bow has an attack range of 4. If you attack from the maximum distance, you'll get a 15% damage boost. And some of her, um, some archer spells can hit even farther than that. I think Zip Shot, which is the furthest, can hit, uh, six tiles away? Either five or six. So that's either an extra 20 or 25% damage for the amount of, um, space in between them. Very handy. Um, bow, uh, bow skills don't have the highest powers. I mean, you're gonna be in the... You're going to be in the uh, D and C range primarily, but the versatility and the area of effects they have are super useful. You can be, you'll be surprised how many units you can hit. So I think the biggest shock is, so look, they're far away to increase their damage, and I think, look at that damage! That's surprising for an enemy unit at this stage. In fact, I think they just, they kill Valvatoris, don't they? Yep, there he goes. And I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> that ain't good. Of course, fortunately for me, the gunners are just killing themselves. Um, so that that's why the, the archers are pretty damn good. Now, if you can go into a bow and increase the range of a bow as one of the options in the Senate, uh, and of course, increasing the range, in well, A, increases the range, but for the archer, also increases the damage you do the further away you attack. Uh, that's really awesome. Um, in fact, the kind of bow I have right now is the Phoenix Bow, and the nice thing is, it's one of the few weapons that in bows increase your, ac um, your hit and your attack power, but this bow also increases all your stats. And I got a legendary one up to, like, level 200 recently. I'm like, yes! So now she also has, like, plus 5,000 to all of her um, other stats. So, very handy. Uh, they are a great supplement to your other characters. Unfortunately, the other abilities aren't so great. Um, Hawk Down deals 50% more damage to flying enemies. 50% um, more damage is nice. Um, but there aren't a whole lot of flying enemies. Uh, you got Succubi, Mothmen, and, Moth and those have low HP anyway. Um, I, I guess the Masked Hero. Uh, let's see, what else? Mm, I mean, you know, I'm sure there's more, I just can't think of them. But, you know, that's not a lot. Uh, the next one... Boy Hunt deals 20% more damage to male characters. Uh, actually, that's not bad, considering, uh... I want to say a majority of the characters are male. You know, I think m monsters have gender, too. So, you know, 20% damage is nice. However, you could argue you could just, um, you know, special... You could, um, transfer Valvatoris' ability that increases 15% to, uh, all special attacks. You know, that's 5% difference in damage, not that much, but it works on everybody, so I would argue that's a better choice than this. And then finally, bow range. Increases range by one tile when a bow is equipped. You know, means you can do an extra 5% more damage and stay further away. Could be nice. Not what I did. Actually, what I increased my art, what I equipped my archer with currently is the Valkyrie ability uh, Power Shot, which adds 30% of your base attack to hit when a bow is equipped. 
So it just I'm just further I'm just increasing my hit by a lot. Um retrospect probably not the best choice. Yeah, this this move zip shot. The range is just nuts and because of the range, the damage goes up proportionately. As you can see my numbers are dwindling. Uh, now let's go over the aptitudes. Archer has a 100 HP, 100 SP, 110 attack, 100 defense, 180 intelligence, um, 120 resistance, 120 hit, and 90 speed. That's, um, you know, at least 100 in almost every useful stat. That's nice. Um, and the... Uh, Hit 120, attack 110. So effectively, you have a damn, you have an effective attack of 115 to start. Not bad. Then we have the hunter, the shooter, the bowmaster, the cupid, and the freischutz. It's either Ger I want to say that's German. Someone can enlighten me as to what that is. The freischutz has 125 HP, 125 SP, 135 attack, 125 defense. 90 intelligence, 145 resistance, 145 hit, and 100 speed. Those are great aptitudes for a final class. Um, surprisingly good defensive stats for a unit that um, stays back and deals damage from afar. So their survivability is pretty damn nice also. Um, I So I really encourage using an archer. Um, you need somebody to use a bow. None of your main characters really have a forte in it. Um, and they are really good supplements. And by the way, uh, if you place them in the heart cannon group, um, you know, increase their counters a bit, but uh, they can deal normal attacks from four spaces away if you attack an enemy within their range. So they are really deadly in that group. Oh my god, I am so sick of this attack. So yeah, archers, make them. Some of their bows, some of their skills even have uh, status ailment chances or or some elemental properties. About three of their, about two of their attacks have the ice element attached to them. And I think uh, that arrow trap thing can cause silence. Ugh, oh, only two enemies left. So you can see where this is pro no three. So you can see where this is problematic. Um But yeah, that's uh that's the archer. Um by far the best class with a bow. Uh in the first in the first game I would have Flan use a bow, and you know, some people make an archer use him. Sorry, not an archer, a healer. But I think, um, they were pretty good with, I don't remember what their ability was in the older game. It wasn't, I don't think it was Excel Shot. Um, but they learned bow skills quickly, and you know, they, they're, they're cute little hunter girls. Why wouldn't you want to use them? Got the little curly hair. Of course, I think they sound so weird in this game, as opposed to the older ones. They're like, you won't get away. That, that's weird, and... Oh well, god, what, what else did they used to say? Like, um... Ta? That, that's weird. No, what was that other thing they used to say? Um... I'm gonna do my best! <laughs> I'm like, why do they sound this way? God. You, Bonisha, you really dropped the ball on generic characters this round. For a lot of the girl classes, at any rate. Actually, I think the I think the professor sounds boss. Um, they, they nailed her. And okay, you, you did give me time to bust some balls. By far the best uh, line any unit has ever said ever. So maybe we'll call it even. 
However, no, I take it back. You ruined my favorite class, the Magic Knight. Listen to that. Ha! What? Who wants to s listen to that? Although, I actually heard the Japanese voice, and it's kind of weird as well. A little deep. Whole game is weird. Whatever. You know it's a hard map when you have to resort to using items. The problem is, um, she has access to all spells as well, so I was just increasing my resistance and one of them, which also increases my damage, hoping that I could... She would choose the element that I happen to be the most resistant to. Because if uh, my Magic Knight doesn't do it, I have to quit. Okay, and she spent the term lowering it back to normal. She's dead. I don't think I had any more characters. If she killed her, I, I would have to restart. And I would make you watch all of it. Whew, that one was close. <laughs> 